Shall we move on to the total lunar eclipse? So we had a fabulous eclipse here. I'm just going to run through it because uh, without going into the details of what an eclipse is, the Earth's shadow crosses over the moon, or more specifically, the moon passes into and then out of Earth's shadow. As you can tell from our 30-second sped-up version of our eclipse uh, seen through our Zeiss telescope, thank you very much, Tony, who uh, did all that, uh, it was cloudy here and cleared up perfectly once it was over. Okay. <laughs> so uh, um, we had some pictures from elsewhere. Tony, you want to say a word yeah, about this Yeah, this is one? Uh, actually by one of our former telescope <coughs> demonstrators who moved to Colorado, and he had a clear sky and uh, sent us the sequence of uh, the whole eclipse. And this oh, was Kirk Palmer. I'm sorry, I didn't Kirk mention Palmer, his name. Kirk Palmer, yeah. yeah. And this <laughs> is taken by our own John Woodbury, who took the weekend off. Curse you, John Woodbury. Um, <laughs> and went up to San Francisco and just took a picture with a long lens for this camera. From So they had it up in San Francisco as well. So that's John's picture. The, you're about to see the ISS cross in front of an eclipsed moon, which I think the fellow claims yeah, is the first time, yes? Thierry Legault in, of France yeah. took this video. Yeah. So look very carefully. And when you see it cross the face of Mars, shout out so we know you saw it. Mars, moon. <laughs> Good eyes. That was eye. impressive. There's the track. They just so they showed two, 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 two exposures. One more time. Look for it. Oh, zip, zip, right across. So this was, as you mentioned, Terry. Yeah, Terry the golf. Yeah, and uh, so his lovely video of it. Um, we had this view of it rising, which is pretty remarkable through the haze and clouds. But uh, this is the view from Griffith Observatory. You can see it low on the horizon in the haze. This is also the view of Griffith Observatory, all the people on the east side looking, all of the uh, folk, people with their tripods. We have a special area set up for people with tripods so they wouldn't view, block the view of everyone on the lawn. I know, someone said to me, where's the grass? Um, it, and this was before it started. This is before the event started. <laughs> you will notice something unusual for an eclipse. A Steinway and Sons Grand Piano, Baby Grand. So that was indeed uh, the wonderful partnership we had with L.A. Phil and Steinway Sons, uh, Steinway and Sons, who provide a pianist, Ray Ushikubo, whose name I will never forget because I mangled it f three out of six, three out of eight times <laughs> while announcing it. It's a very hard name. Do we have a quote here? Yes. Number five. No one goes there nowadays. It's too crowded. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was I hoping it was that one. Good work. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think you get two prizes. That yeah. One, that, one, that one got a spontaneous applause. That's pretty good. <laughs> so as evening fell, uh, now we have our little piano. It's all lit up. Uh, and out came Ray to play for us. He's 14. 14 years old. Coburn School student. Did an absolutely beautiful job. We're just going to play a few uh, seconds of it. And there he is playing with not, none other than the eclipsed moon up there. So uh, it was really quite a beautiful evening. I hope those of you who came, and I'm so sorry about the traffic. Uh, and without so any further delay, I'd like to go ahead. This is the one time I got it no, One of the times I got it right. Tonight's performance by Ray Shapuvo from Shelburne School, Kirkland, Skyway, Sons, and L.A. Phil. Thank you. to get him back here. <laughs> really, he was wonderful and sweet as can be. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to go quickly through this and just say that um, one thing that didn't happen is the world did not end. <laughs> and um, I boldly made that prediction. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a really 
really good one. I like that. Uh, yeah, it ain't over till it's over, and it ain't over. So uh, I was saying I boldly made that prediction last month. <laughs> that we would Out on a limb this. there. I know. <laughs>